I'm fast. Look at this. Oh, it's like. Oh, damn. Oh. What is up, guys, and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel. My name is Shanks. In today, we are playing the Alvin Alliance mod for Beef Me One on the patch 1.06. We're gonna be playing with the Alvin faction against Mordor on the map Forza Weizen, and hopefully, we can get it done. I have never played this mod before. It's a mod that is existing now for a long time, but I never get the chance to play it. So hopefully, we're gonna be all right. That's the beast. That's the fortress. That's the castle of the Alvin faction. And we have also to begin with the Midwood Scout Battalion, which are archers, and that's kind of OP, you know, for a, for like a scouting unit, the first beginning unit, you get an archer battalion, that's kind of busted. Because Gondor gets soldiers, Rohan gets peasants, Isengard gets Uruks, and Mordor gets orcs, and every single one of them can be easily countered by this scout battalion. But again, I don't know the stats, I don't know how, I don't know how, much, how much damage they deal, I cannot even talk, sorry for that. Um, we will find out though, we will find out. Get this as well, beautiful, okay. So, um, I don't know the difficulty about this hard army though, I mean, every mod is trying to make it a bit harder, and for that reason I want to try a 1v1 first, and when, it, you know, when it's doable, we can also try even a 1v7 later on. And quick question to you guys in the, in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about this mod? Did you ever play this mod before? And if yes, did you like it? And would you like to see more videos based on this mod? In the future i mean you have no castles around your fortress so they can pretty much enter whenever they want we have like those wood um walls but they are only protecting a certain area of the castle however we have the chance to build multiple towers like a lot of them and look at this man you can creep this way quite easily uh, and get even a level 2 battalion you know get more p damage output get more money which is kind of crazy strong. I mean, the thing is, the other unit, the other factions like Mordor, Gondor, and Rohan, they get like two starting units, while we have only one. So maybe that's the one big difference. There is also Gollum, Smeagol. Just creep this, keep creeping this. And we need more eco. Um, from the heroes, holy quack, <laughs> we have so many heroes to be recruited. Galadriel for 5,000, Glorfindel for 4,500, Eldron for 3,500, Celebron for the same money, Legolas for 3,000, Thranduil for 3,000, the Derian Sun, Arvin 1,500, and the cheapest hero is going to be Hydir for 1,300. And this dude is also 1,500, but required gifts from the sea, spellbook power. Okay, we can also take a look into the power point, so we have the chance to pick this one at the beginning of the game, which will also give us passively 50% more damage to the heroes. And you know what time it is? In order to, you know, make this a bit more interesting and entertaining, we will do nothing else but recruit heroes exclusively, okay? So I'm gonna spam all the resource buildings first, um, and then just start recruiting heroes, and we're gonna try to win with heroes exclusively. That's the plan. But I think we need a little bit more towers before we can do this. Okay? Can I put them inside? No, that's not possible. Hmm... I'm gonna build this one actually for 100% more damage and experience points so we can protect this outpost a little bit easier and also I'm gonna build this one for the recovery the mirror of Galadriel I mean the animation of the building is pretty much the same like the well from Gondor and Rohan is Gollum attacking me? no he's just scouting and now we can build another resource building and what is this Mirkwood lookout tower? I mean, trains, sentinels from the woody end, and midwood scouts. Hmm. But again, we will start with heroes first, you know. I'm gonna build one more tower. Everything is looking pretty much the same. Like, bunch of trees. It's kind of confusing. You don't even know which building is what. Your towers are pretty much looking like your farms, and it can be quite confusing in a multiplayer game, especially when you are not used to this mod. When you play this mod for the first time, and you see, like, every building pretty much with the same skin, it can be quite disturbing, you know. Okay. So how many spots do we actually have? One. One. Two. Wait. <laughs> one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I think. Seven spots. Okay. So now we have full money. These buildings, they are the resource buildings. They also give us the food bonus. So pretty much like a farm from Gondor and Rohan, making the cavalry units a bit cheaper. And yeah, indeed, you are able to recruit calf units also with the elven faction. 
Okay, now we're gonna start recruiting heroes, starting from the cheapest to the, exp to the most expensive one, who is going to be, of course, the Elven Queen, Galadriel. I mean, the Elven faction, that's not the first time we're gonna see the Elven faction in a mod, uh, but I believe this is like an OG mod, a mod with... Um, we had it in BFME 1 for like many, many years, but I was never into mods, to be honest. I like personally the vanilla game more because it's more balanced while the mods are based on fan. So it's like you want to have fun with different new stuff. You can definitely play the mods. It's also great for the single player experience, but I don't feel like that's the best way to play the game in a multiplayer game. You know what I mean? Oh, we are cash floating now. Let's like crazy. Okay, now we can recruit um, this dude first, Haldir, for 1300, and right off the bat also Arvin for 1500. I mean, it takes some time to destroy this actually, it's quite tanky. I mean, not tanky, but our units are dealing no damage to the buildings because they have no fire arrows. I mean, this dude can also be recruited, but you can read yourself. Recruit the ship right of the Grey Heavens. Sirdan is not selectable, and he alt attacks enemies that enter the Elven base. He grants 50% armor leadership bonus to all units and 30% speed bonus to Spearman of the Heavens. So there is no point of recruiting him. There comes Haldir. He has the chance to fight with sword and bow. And also has the chance to use the warning arrow like Faramir from Gondor. And now we have the Alvin Princess. Look at this beautiful woman. I mean, the design is not very, <laughs> it's not very accurate, you know, in terms of her look. But again, it's a mod from many, 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 many years ago. And for that reason, I cannot complain. She has also leadership, daughter of Elrond. Hold on a second. Don't kill me. Oh, catapults. I see you. Put on the sword, Haldir. Okay, now we have two melee heroes. So this one is going to be Arvin, gains twice her normal experience amount and receives a 50% armor boost when near Elrond. So the daddy and daughter side by side. Talking about Daddy and Son, we will also recruit Thranduil and Legolas. The catapult is finally taken down, it's good. And with level 2, we will get the chance to get Norolim. So, increases Asphalov speed by 75 and crash declaration resistance by 75 for a short period of time. So basically, when she was riding away from the Nazgûl in the films, she was using this ability. And she can also get mounted with level 1, right? Um, Alvin Evenstar. Okay, that's like a fear effect. And the last ability is the Loud Water Fury. Use the waters of the Brunen to attack enemy troops and structures. I mean, we will have to try to get all our heroes to level 10. That's gonna be the goal. Now we have also this dude, Thranduil. He comes out with level 5, by the way. And has the Warning Strike, a powerful attack that does damage over time. It's like a poison effect, I'm assuming. And looks like he's like a melee hero in this game. Uh, remember, Thranduil is already existing in Give Me 2 and Rise of the Witch King, but he's being there like an archer hero. And he cannot get mounted either. He has leadership, King of Mirkwood, leadership bonus to nearby Mirkwood elves, 50% damage, attack uh, attack range, and 20% vision range. Okay, let's try to fight this. We have also the chance now to recruit the, the son of Thranduil, who's going to be, of course, the most well known elven hero in the world, Legolas. Our base should be in a good spot. So we have three melee heroes, and I personally like that. Shoot at me all you want. I'm fast. And you can see they have like a camouflage too. So whenever... Oh, Arvin is getting chunked though. Nice, level three, that's good. I want to use the warning arrow. I want to see if the animation is pretty much the same. Yeah, it's the same, like, exactly. But it's like a green arrow instead of like a white arrow from Faramir. But other than that, it's pretty much the same ability. We can keep fighting. I'm gonna pick up the heal from the spare book just so we can, you know, make sure to just stand here and fight. Be careful. Okay, kill this. I wanna I wanna see the ability from this. Oh Arvin! Okay. It's like a single powerful attack, but our heroes, especially Arvin, is kinda of squishy. We need to revive her though. There comes Legolas. It's the knife fighter, the twin archers, the arrow wind, and then the prince of the Mirkwood. Summons four battalions of Mirkwood scouts to eat Legolas. We must not linger. Other than that, he's pretty much like in the normal BFM one. The wooden realm shall stand. They are attacking. Okay, the they are coming from this location, by the way. We need to build some more towers. And also what I will be doing is I'm going to recruit this dude. 
and make sure that he's protecting the castle while I'm while I'm fighting against somebody else, you know? Gotta keep an eye on the heroes. Atelas, we have not no Atelas actually. We have three power points in the bank. We can use it for them. Call off Kuvinen. Summons a group of Avari. Hold on, I don't wanna die. But I think we are fine. Avari elves out of the far east. Or also the Alvin Wood, but we know Alvin Wood, we're gonna pick up this one. And hopefully it's going to be oh my goodness. Halgir is about to die. Let's bail. We have not 2500. And we can very soon recruit Celebron. Very, very soon. Okay, heal up a little bit. That's good. The Mortar AI is actually spamming catapults like crazy. We cannot select them, by the way. We cannot control them. We see him as a hero in the list, but you cannot control it. Control him at all. You know, pretty much he's going to do his own thing. All right, let's go. Let's fight. I want to I want to test something. I want to see if the one in arrow will deal any damage to the catapult. Let's find out. It deals a bit damage, but not too much. Legolas should be able to level up easily. Haldir is showing his quality. Le le leadership will be unlocked with level 5. The Captain of Lorien. Armor to nearby Galadrim and Mirkwood Scouts. With level uh, 7, he will get the Elven Swordman. Increases Haldir armor by 50, speed by 25. In sport damage by 50 for a short duration. Okay. But we have now 5,000 in the bank. So, you know what elves would also need, in my opinion, is like the pillage. So, they would need a hero that gives you money whenever you kill enemy units. That would be quite helpful. Because other than that, I think you have like no chance of recruiting all the heroes. Because most of them are very expensive. More than 3,000. These two heroes all alone cost you like 7,000, you know. And this one, 4,500. So, very expensive heroes. The catapult spam is real, man. Yeah, shoot my Legolas. And the catapults are chunking my heroes too. Holy guacamole. Okay, nice. We killed one. Okay, Legolas actually chunks also. That's very good. They have fire arrows now. Fire arrows. That's not good. Don't die, Arwen. Arwen is so squishy, by the way. Arwen! <gasps> Trolls are coming! Sebron, do something. I need to heal here, by the way. Okay. Keep defending now. I don't know if what, what's going on, actually. That's crazy, dude. Alright, we can now recruit Elrond. Hey, Legolas, don't die! Dance around Rosie. Arwen is dead already. Uh, oh my, this guy is also dying. The troll is too powerful. He just came Tranduil. Level 6, though. Uh, summons a tree and knocks back enemies in target re radius. Okay, I don't need to use it. We are in a kind of good spot. Um, eventually gonna... Sorry, I was hitting my microphone. Eventually gonna build some more towers, though. Okay? Just to be a bit more safe, you know? Okay, so... Um, we will have Eldron very soon. And again, we need to recruit or revive Arvin. Because we cannot take the responsibility... And Elrond is going to be mad. If Elrond is not going to be mad, Aragorn is going to be mad at us. And also Elrond joins the battlefield with level 5. And finally, we have a hero with Atelas. So we will have some recovery. So Sting, that's pretty good. Oh my goodness, Legolas is getting chunked. Kill the catapults. He has also leadership, 200% experience on nearby troops, and 100% fear resistant. Um, Elf Lord grants a large amount of experience to the targeted troops. Um, then we have the Vilya. Knock back all enemies. Hold on. I want to use this ability from this dude. If I can, do it. Oh, nice. So, three summoning and knocking them down. It's a very unique ability. I've never seen this before, actually, in any beef me game. That's pretty nice. Level 7 strength of the Orofer increases Tranduil's weapon damage by 50 and speed by 25 temp. I mean, for a short duration. Don't die. He's, they are targeting hardcore. Oh, man. Bail. Dude, if I keep doing like this, I will never be able to recruit other heroes. Arvin is back. Arvin, when you die one more time, she has only 900 health with like level 3. That's really not much, you know? It's very squishy. There's also Govmok from Mordor. Okay, our base is in a good spot. Um, I don't know if this guy can actually level up or something. Again, we cannot even select them. Um, we have almost 3k in the bank. And the next hero is going to be Glorfindel. Again, let's take a look into the powerpoints. I mean, nothing special really. We can go for the 
and allies with six or eagles. So we already know that from Gondor in Rohan. I kill my units. I don't mind about that one. Kill these catapults, please. They are the ones who are hurting you the most. Haldir is so dying. Oh my goodness, man. So squishy, bro. They want to kill my Haldir so badly. Haldir, now you will s sit next to Legolas with your arrows and shoot instead. Because I don't want to waste my money into reviving the heroes over and over again, you know? Okay, we can now go for Glorfindel. That's good. Arvin is dying again. Elrond can maybe heal. Atelas. Oh, nice. Remember when she's next to Elrond, she has 50% armor boost. So, even now, she's still dying quite fast, you know? If you don't know what this is, you can pretty much change the view of your camera in this mod. I need to fix this. Okay. Let's build. And we have nothing but heroes on the field. Our Celebron is back in the business. Um, I mean, oh, you can give experience to your heroes. Hold on, I want to group, group them all together. Maybe I can give it more experience to every single one of them at the same time. Nice. Arvin is level 5. Level 6 is needed for the last ability. And the last hero in the building is going to be Galadriel. So first of all, we get Glorfindel, who is looking like this. Can also get mounted. Has leadership too. Um, leadership to nearby cavalry. Plus 75 trample declaration resistance. It's huge, by the way. You don't get slowed down at all anymore. What? That's kind of busted, if I'm being honest with you. Catapults, they're kiting me. Okay, nice. So, Beal, I don't want to lose any of the heroes. Also, more units are coming. When you put your heroes next to each other like that, you should be able to level them up passively. Okay, so I'm going to make a list now with the melee heroes. Level 8. Woodland magic teleports around duel to the chosen area. So we can now teleport wherever we want to. Even without vision. That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to use it now. So melee hero. Melee, melee hero. Melee hero. Melee hero, melee hero. Okay, you guys go ahead. In the archie heroes, Haldir and Legolas going to stay here. And keep fighting. I mean, interesting mod. I mean, especially the Elven faction is quite interesting. I don't know what changes they have implemented into the existing factions like Gondor, Rohan, Mortal Isengard. But we will definitely take a look into that in the following days too. Okay, so Beal. And finally, the Elven Queen. Recruit the Lady of the Golden Wood. Say no more. Okay, so now we can select all the heroes and just go ham. You cannot... Okay. Again, we cannot select this dude. That's very important for you to understand. He's gonna chill in the base and do whatever, whatever he wants. He's like a guard, you know, a guard of the woodland realm. Okay, Arvin has the ability. I want to use it against army though. Oh, if you want him, come and claim him. Attack this building, man. Come on now. Finally, dude. Nice. Okay. Legolas, Haldir, you guys, please shoot the troll. Please. Legolas, Haldir, shoot the troll. Shoot the troll. Okay. Arvin, don't die. I'm going to heal her. They are still targeting her, by the way. Okay, we're going to pick up the eagles from the spell book. I mean, she can die now. She has used every single ability. I'm gonna right click on this one. Oh. Summons the, summons the power of the forest to neck back. Oh, you pretty much summon like a sh short elven wood. And it kind of pushes them back and damages them. Um, with level 7, we get Vilya. Knock back all enemies in radius. Can stun enemies, excluding heroes for a short period of time. And then the power of the Brunin. Summons the waters of the Brunin to heavily damage enemies and structures. Beal, don't I? Summon Selegilin and Galadrim warriors to eat Celebron. This guy is getting damaged a lot. Oh, he's going ham. The crazy animations, what the heck? <laughs> and Galadriel, what you doing, girl? Come. 
I'm Galadriel. The way she's moving is also kind of weird. Look how she's moving, boys. She, she moves like a civilian. Look at this. <laughs> okay. Go, go, Galadriel. I want to see what you are able to do. I mean, you cost 5,000, so I have high expectations on you. Visions, reveal the entire map for a short period of time, so let's use it. So we get to see everything now. And the way she's moving is so funny. She has also not much HP, actually. 1,500 HP. Look, she's moving so weird, dude. Throw down its walls. Heavily damaged enemy structures, walls, and gates. Does no damage to units or heroes, but has a knockback effect. The light of the Valar protects Galadriel from damage for a short period of time. And then the power of the lady. Destroy all surrounding enemies. Oh-oh. Sounds pretty familiar, am I right? From the water power from Gandalf. Okay. So now what we can also do... Hold on. We are being attacked at the same time. Catapults? Really? Okay. So you guys come please to this bottom area. Maybe not from this location, but it's whatever. Just come fast. I want to also take a look into this Glorfindel. Revealed in Wrath. Frightens enemy units. We have already used that one. Uh, fear of the light. All nearby enemies suffer from a fear effect. And then we have the light of the Noldor. F fires blast of light at the targeted area. So Glorfindel is a bit different than we know from the game Bifi Mito and Rise of the Witch King, but it's okay. So we can demolish this building now and build the armory. And we can finally start recruiting some catapults. I mean some armies. Okay. So, where is Galadriel? Let's... She's so slow, though. She's so unbelievable slow. It's not even funny anymore. You guys come to this spot. We can take the outpost. And let's build the armory, which is, I believe, this one. Yeah, build Elven armory. Okay, with 10 power points, we can also now pick up the last one. The Blessings of the Golden Wood. Creates a Shroud of Mist that slowly damages enemies and structures. Also provides 50% armor, 50% damage, and 20% speed to nearby infantry and cavalry. The question is, can I use it without a vision? The answer is no. I can't. Can I use it on top of the enemy arm? Yeah, I can use it, for example, on top of that one. That's good. Armory is almost up. Looks pretty much like a reskin of the Rohan armory. Um, with like an Alvin build style. Even the build animation is pretty much the same. Okay, we have all the power points here. Banner, heavy armor, forge blades, and... Fire arrows. The outpost has been fully taken down. It's good. And we can keep moving now. Who needs army when you have those powerful heroes? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Nine heroes excluding Sirdan. So with Sirdan, you would have actually ten heroes in total. It's kind of crazy. Okay. So now we can also... Hold on. Let's make towers first. Just to feel a bit more safe. There we go. And we can recruit also now units. I want to build the barracks and also the stable at the same time. So the stable is this one. And that's the Lorian barracks. So Lorian bar barracks and the Rivendell stable. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. The same animation like the lightning sword. It doesn't damage them, but knocks them down. What is the outer animation from Galadriel? It's like a knockback. It's like using like magic. It has no sword, nothing like that in her hands. But her skin is looking kind of odd. I'm being honest. It looks kind of weird. But it's fine though. As long as I don't bring catapults, we should be in a good spot. Oh, hold on. What we can do now is I'm going to show you guys. Who can teleport again? One of them could teleport. This guy can get teleport. Come here. Teleport. I can't. Galadriel is being damaged. Fight this. Why can I not teleport, boys? That's scamming me. I lost the armory. Our armor of knights. Heavy cavalry. Slower cavalry with more armor and good trample damage. I'm going to recruit them. And then we have also the chance to recruit the Spearman of the Heavens. When it's level 2, we can also recruit the Galadrim Warriors, okay? The Horse Shield also required with level 2. 
the thing about the AI is they are attacking me from multiple different locations over and over again. I mean, I could have just summoned the eagles, I guess. I'm going to summon the eagles anyway now and kill the catapults. I should have done it to protect the, to protect the outpost, but it's okay. We can now buy this outpost here. Money is not a problem, so we should be in a good spot. Buy this outpost. There we go. Nice. Okay. Rally to me. Rally to me. Yeah, just attack everything in your path. I'm going to build a well for the recovery. And also the armory. Hold on. Armory. And also this defensive fleet. I want to see what it does. My heroes are tanky. The melee heroes are kind of tanky. Let's use this ability from... Nice, dude, the animation is so fast. It actually looks pretty nice. I want to use also this ability, not all him. Not all him must fall off. Look this, she's, she's on steroids, dude. I'm fast, look at this. <laughs> Let's go. Did Viaragorn fall in love with this girl? But daddy, 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 yeah, it's really, really low cooldown. Holy guacamole, you can actually spam that thing. Why? Okay, that's unbelievable. Alright, so anyway, we have like cavalry, I believe, now. We can also give them forge blades and heavy armor, of course. And also spear throwers. Uh, spear men, I mean. And now we can recruit the Galadrim warriors, too. And let's try to take care of this outpost. With the army we just recruited. We just need to get banner. And then we will be good to go. This is like um, a defensive fleet. So I think what we can do is we can use... Yeah, we can put units inside of that. And now we have the power of the Brunin. I want to use this one. Girl, don't die, girl. Okay, not even close, baby. Not even close. I want to summon this now. Let's go. Let's go. Elrond. Oh, it's like an improved version of what uh, Arvin is able to do. Okay, I see you. More damage, less armor. Pretty much like Gondor Knights at this point. But they seem to be a bit, a bit slower. We have level 10. We can also summon this one. Okay, pretty much like those uh, scout battalions we get at the beginning of the game, you know? And now we can move forward from this location. I'm going to build those expansions around for some defense. Let's get this one. And keep pushing with the army from this location. You can also now buy this one. And recruit more Galadrim warriors. And you guys go... I have like no money at this point. <laughs> I'm poor. Okay. It's fine now. Okay, we should be in a good spot. And we have also 10 power points. We can literally pick up now this and this too. Cloudbreak and Elvenwood. I mean, everything is already something we know. Um... We can use arrow volley, just why not? Use your arrow volley. Choo, choo. Arrow volley is pretty much the same. Light of the Noldor. I want this dude to get level 10. Hold on. That's that's the husband. And he has also the chance to summon the Elven Alliance. So the heroes in this uh, in this faction have the chance to summon multiple uh, reinforcements, in including a hero like Seligilin. Double shot. And has the chance to fight with sword and bow. Elf eyes. Nearby troops gain more attack range bonus. And 20%, 25% vision bonus. And also Captain of Lorien. More damage. Fear resistant to nearby Galadrim and Heaven Spearman. So pretty powerful. Where is our Galadriel? Did I lose Galadriel actually? Yeah, I lost her, man. I didn't even... I'm telling you guys. I didn't even pay attention to that. Can I use it this way? I'm going to use it. Let's see what this does actually. Oh, damn. What is going on? What is, what is this fiesta? You can go no further. It's gone. I mean, it dealt like no damage to the buildings, I guess. <laughs> like no damage at all. Alright. It looks cool, though. It looks cool. But that's about it. 
Okay. That's the banner. Uh, that's the horseman shields. We can upgrade them. We must protect the woods. I'm broke. Um. Alright, it's fine now. Okay, we need to kind of get this area under our control too. Uh, we need a little bit more money because the one thing I want to do, I want to get, hopefully, is Galadriel level 10. I want to see the last ability. I mean, this guy can teleport, but I think in a short duration. Like, you can, you can, he's like jumping, but you cannot do this in an unlimited area. I was trying, remember, I was trying to teleport to this location, but I couldn't. You know, it was not possible. We, we have seen this ability from this dude. Let's try from Eldrond now. Oh, it's like a, a range attack that can, you know, stun them for a short duration. This guy can summon. This guy can use the light of Noldor. I want to see this one. It's like a lightning sword. Ooh, that's kind of busted, dude. Not gonna lie. There's like multiple white fireballs. The animations are pretty much like from Saruman. When he's using the fireball ability, but this is like in light, you know? It's like obviously because it's an album faction, you know. But the thing about this ability is it has like no cooldown. Like the, the cooldown is pretty low, so you can actually have like a flash ability in, in League of Legends, you know, like jump, 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 jump. We have seen this ability also. And yeah, we have seen every ability in the game. Every ability in the game beside Galadriel's level 10. That's the only thing we are missing, but reviving her is actually so incredibly expensive. 4,800 we need to recruit. But the good thing is we have full map control now for the first time in this game. I was just sitting waiting for the heroes to be recruited, but here we are. So we can now just spam abilities from the heroes. Go do it, Elrond. Elrond, it's your time. Look this, wash the evil away from this lands. Like, it doesn't deal damage when it goes through the unit. It deals damage to the located area. So the area you are trying to hit, that's the damaged area. So even when the horses are going through some units, that doesn't do anything. Okay. Okay, now we have finally the money for Galadriel. That's good. Hopefully, the reviving time is not going to take a long time. We can give them also heavy armor and everything. Okay. So the Galadrim warriors, they're looking a little bit confused on the picture. The profile picture in normal Give Me One is definitely better in my opinion. Again, you can summon reinforcement with this dude and also with this dude. So Celebron and Legolas. Picture from the films. Um, about this picture, I don't know. Thranduil doesn't look like that, but I'm assuming they made this way before the Hobbit films came out. Uh, again, I think that's one of the oldest mods actually for Give Me One. I mean, Agent Smith, of course, Arvin, we know. You can also right-click on those. Now, you can't right-click on this ability, for example. You can only manually activate it. You can right-click on this one. You cannot right-click on this one either. But you can right-click on this one. Okay. We can right-click on this one. On this one too, right? Yeah. Okay, we can right click on multiple things, but not all of them. We shall prevail over the darkness. Okay. Alright, so at this point, uh, it's gonna be a waiting. Oh, I purchased this, man. Wait, ranks a new unit to level 2 veterans. It can only be up equipped at level 1. Raising the elven standard. Let the oh. Standard of the elven. The power of the Hold on a second. Okay, the banner is so different. So you need to purchase a banner carrier. Then you need to send the banner to the unit to give them a level. So remember in normal BFME 1, that's not like that. You know, <laughs> that's not like that. You can just upgrade the banner upgrade on the, on the unit itself. So when you combine these units with each other, I think what will happen is they're going to be level 2. Yeah. I mean, I personally like that one. That's not bad though. That's really not bad. Okay. Now I'm gonna go with the heroes Hem, beside with Haldir and Legolas. Um, I wanna have all these melee heroes with me, including Galadriel. And when they fight together, we should be in a good spot. I mean, again, I think it's gonna take a while for us to get her to level 10, but I would at least like to see the lights of the, of the Valar. Map control is looking good. You've also the chance to summon the ants if you want to, if you need to. 
But realistically speaking, we shouldn't need that. Gothmog is just chilling in the beast, doesn't really do anything. Maybe I can try to kill him. If he long cooldowns, so we need to be kind of careful a little bit. Okay. This dude is dying, by the way. I die, just die, I don't mind. I don't mind, just die! I want to see if this dam deals damage to the buildings too. You will find out. A little bit, not too much, not too much. Don't die. Maybe we are a little bit too deep when I think about it. A little bit too deep. And our abilities are on cooldown. Use it. See if you're the other. Nice. This actually heals a lot, man. Holy guacamole. This heals a lot. Let's take a look into this ability too, shall we? I'm going to use it this way to eventually eat three buildings at the same time. I want to see what it does. Oh, damn. It's like Easter light in an area. And it deals so much damage too. I want to I wanna play around with them. I'm here now. And I'm here now. <laughs> Let's use this one. They are three on your face, son. Okay, she's level 8. She can use this ability. Which is like a shield bubble of Gandalf, I think, for a longer duration. So she's becoming more tanky. Don't die. Okay. Let's revive the heroes we lost. We lost this dude and this dude. Glorfindel has been killed, unfortunately. I don't know if we can get him to level 10. But I'm gonna try anyway, you know me. I'm gonna try anyway. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Q, send them all back. Then I'm gonna group my Galadrim warriors with my with my units. Okay, like this. And like this. And now we go ham together. Okay, all my heroes pretty much. Oh, oh, Balrog of Morgoth. You wanna do this, Balrog of Morgoth? Or maybe you wanna do this indeed. Maybe you wanna do this indeed. Don't do this to me. Why are you running? Why are you running? I mean, there is not even a chance. We don't even deal damage to him, bro. Let's bail. I mean, Galadriel, you might be powerful, but you know, you are not powerful enough to actually mess up with mess it up with Balrog. You know, Balrog is gonna smash you, lady. All right, only one of them was able to survive one battalion each, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Our Galadriel was able to survive the burst of the Breathfire, so we should be in a good spot. Um, again, the dream is going to be to get her to level ten, but I believe the more levels she gets, the harder it's gonna become to get to the next level. I mean, the voice lines are a little bit meh. And also the armor is, I need to say the armor is pretty pretty interesting. So what we can do now is we can also give them to the, to the units, you know, like this. But that kind of makes it, I don't know. Like, I think you need to kind of keep your armory up on the field all the time. When you demolish it, you cannot get them to level 2 anymore. It kind of, I don't know. It's hard for me to say if it's good or not, you know, I don't know. We can also try to recruit these cheaper units. They actually cost the same. Riders of Revendal. They are like light cavalry, faster cavalry with higher attack power but less armor. We elves will help fight against Sauron. Okay, so let's give them also upgrades. The uh, where is Galadriel? Galadriel, you need to fight, not the dudes. You need to fight. You need to be level 10. Okay, let's go like this. And like this. Go. Go ham. Alright. So the plan, the only goal we have is to get our Galadriel to level 10. That's all we need to do. I mean, she's fighting. She's in a good spot. We've also hit from the spell for the, for the worst case scenario. We should be in a good spot, I guess. But she's kind of squishy. I'm not going to lie. Like she's taking a lot of damage, you know? I want to use this ability one more time. Back her up, back her up. Maybe I can use this... Oh... I didn't want to do that though, to be honest. Maybe I can use it against his towers and one-shot them and get also experience for it. Oh, nice. We got level 9. 
ability is reloading quite fast and this can be considered as like an op thing because you chunk buildings you're almost one shot at troll cage level three which is supposed to be a very tanky building can i can this yeah look how tanky the catapult is against arrow volley it's unbelievable okay it's fine now go galadriel do it my elven queen just it's so it's so hard dude it's so hard it's unbelievable it's so hard we are losing map control by the way in the meantime <laughs> okay let's go ham run please run where is elrond don't die when she dies i will just win the game anyway yeah she can't get away she's too slow oh boy Let's go ham. Let's go ham and finish this game already, man. Just finish this game already, man. <laughs> Come on now, dude. Galadriel, you disappoint me. You really do disappoint me. I'm gonna use this ability right in the base, right like this. If I can. There we go. But it does like no damage at all. Like zero damage, by the way. Zero damage. It's fine now. Until Amroth returns. They are upon us. Until Amroth returns. Ends are going to war. It is likely that we go to our doom. Let's summon all the reinforcements we can. Let's use all the abilities we can. Put your sword, use this ability. Woodland magic teleport. Phew! <laughs> this is so funny. Use this ability too. Use this ability too. Take this. And then last building, we can also summon the reinforcements. You cannot summon inside the base, by the way. That's not possible. But we are about to win the game anyway. Let's summon it. Nice. Let's summon it. No, we can't. Hard army has been defeated. The difficulty is pretty much like the same, like in the vanilla BFM you want. It's not hard. I mean, let's be real. I was not even trying to win the game. I was like sitting in the base and waiting for the money to recruit heroes. So it's definitely doable. I think it's also doable to play against seven at the same time. The only difficulty might be that this faction, Alvin faction, is like no um, walls around the fortress, which makes it way more vulnerable in compared to a Gondor castle or Rohan castle. But I think it's quite fun. They've added a lot of crazy shenanigans. The, the teleport ability from the hero was quite funny. Again, it's an OG mod. Back in the day, there was the most played mod. Of course, since then, many, many more people made more mods for BFME games. But this was, you know, this was kind of unique and fun. It was also very hard back in the day to actually make mods like that. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more videos about this. Maybe a 1v7 in this mod. We can try it out. If not, you can also let me know. Uh, we're going to definitely play more BFME 1, 2.22 also in the following days. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, you know leaving a like, subscribing to the channel. I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.